Hello friends, welcome in KK Java tutorial. Uh, in previous video tutorial, we have learned how to create single turn of our thread safe environment, right? Thread, multi threaded environment, basically. So while creating the single turn, how we can take care about the thread safety. And that's what we have uh, thread safe single turn. This one we have learned. In this video, we will see how to implement a uh, build bug single turn implementation, right? and why we need this one right so let's go to the eclipse and try to understand so this is the basically singleton which we have implemented in the previous video tutorial and uh, this singleton basically works very fine in the multi-threaded environment right now still there is some problem uh, in this singleton uh, prior to uh, jdk 1.5 right so when we talk about the prior to jdk uh, jdk 1.5 or java 5 java memory model had a lot of issues and this approach used to fail in certain scenarios where too many too many threads try to get the uh, instance instance of the singleton class simultaneously so bill pug came up with the different approach to create the singleton class using inner static class helper right and that we are going to learn in this video tutorial so i'm going to close it and let's close this project and here i have created a uh, project name is called build pug singleton pattern and this is the blank client client class and this is blank singleton class so let's see how we can create so as you know when we create a single class uh, 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 with multiple approaches then certain steps are very similar so first of all we have to uh, basically uh, declare a private constructor right that also we have to do here so i'm going to create a private constructor so that instantiation of this class can be prevented from the uh, from outside of the class right now uh what we have to we have to create a static inner class so here i am going to create a static inner class as a private so private i would say a static class a class name you can give anything so i'll keep a very meaningful class i think uh like uh, giving the name as a singleton holder would be uh meaningful right so i would say singleton hold holder and this is a, just a, a private a static inner class right and inside this private uh, static inner class we will create an instance of this guy okay so here again we will apply private static and of course a static and of and of course we will make it final right return type would be singleton itself and here you can give the let's say instance name of variable is instance and new singleton okay now of course we need to create a basically a public utility method so public static return type would be singleton itself and name method method name i am going to give key get instance right and this guy is going to return this instance so how we can call this instance from this method so i would say return singleton holder dot instance that's it and we are done so this is the basically uh Bill Pug has suggested to create a singleton design pattern in this map, right? Now, if I go to my client program and from here you can create a singleton very easy, right? Singleton goes to new, sorry, singleton and get instance, right? Let's say this is singleton one, and similarly, you can create a various instance let's say singleton 2 and if you try to print hash code of these two singleton instance that must be same right so i'd say hash code hash code of. and let's try to run this application see what so here you can see hash code are same right so here if you look into the singleton right so you should notice that uh, here private static final right 
private static final uh, basically this is the variable which is declared inside the private static class and that contains the instance of the singleton class right when singleton class is loaded when this class is loaded uh, basically at that time uh, basically this inner class will not be loaded right so when any client calls this method right get instance method then only this class is getting loaded into the memory that's the benefit so that's still working as a lazy loading right and good thing about this this uh, when you create a singleton using this approach then you don't require synchronization as well so this is a completely thread safe singleton design pattern right so i hope you understood how to create a singleton using a build bug suggested uh, approach right so build bug said you need to create a private static class and within that you can create your singleton instance right and from public uh, static method that is the basically global access point right from there you can return this basically singleton which is created within the static inner class that's it right and this is completely thread safe right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys so i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button didn't subscribe kk java tutorials till yet then please go ahead and subscribe it and thanks for watching this video